So the Porsche 992 series has always been super popular on iRacing. I have never seen it not go live with a race. So what happens is if you get, I think it's less than six signups, the series, the race will still start, but it won't officially count towards your I rating or, or things like that. So it doesn't become official. I've never seen that happen with the Porsche 992. And I think that comes down to three reasons. The first reason is the car itself is so lively. It's pretty intense to drive if you're not used to driving without driver aid. So what that means is you press the brake too hard or pinch any wheel that has too much load on it compared to the rest. It'll spin you out if you punch the throttle too hard. So it's got a heap of power and uh, no traction control really. And as well as that, like they're pretty tough. It's a, it's not a formula car. So you can kind of bump and scrape some, some panels every now and then, especially with the new update to the, the damage model, how things are a little bit stronger than they used to be on iRacing. Along with that, the second thing is it's actually a real race series. It's a real race series in the world. Super popular. They follow the Formula 1 cars around a lot. If you don't watch that on TV, you should probably check out the next Porsche Super Cup, the international event. Heaps of cars, heaps of carnage. Very exciting racing. And finally, the track selection is super good. And that leads us into this race right here. This is Road Atlanta. One of the coolest racing tracks, I think, on the whole service. It's simple in its own way. There's not like a heap of corners to remember like some some different tracks in the world. It's small enough, wide enough that it caters for really good racing. It's got a long back straight into a pretty uh, heavy braking zone chicane. So you can draft really good. You can pass fairly easy. The racing gets pretty intense. And at the same time, it's got its own um, special things like this downhill left and right over a like, blind corner. So super unique, really good racing. And <laughs> let's see why the 992 is as popular as it is. We're gonna jump into a race at Rona Louder right now. Slow car ahead, car stops on the right. Ooh, Go what's right. Going on here? There's an incident ahead. We got one off track, it's all right. Car on your left. You got oh, it's on, it's on right. now. Still there. Clear on the left. In the chicane, we've got a car up in the background. And number four, on the juice too early. Just like the guy before. Around she goes. Absolute carnage here in the chicane. We were intertwined in this as well. 15 got a big old shunt up the bumper. And just look at the, the group of cars here. Getting hairy. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Uh, well, at least we avoided the car. Didn't run into. Clear. Car stop on the right. One go on. That one bites the dust. Turn one. Run a little bit wide from the 17. Didn't get off the throttle enough, and around he goes. Luckily, missing the number six there. Very easy to overdrive this car. Nineteen laps. Starting lap two. We'll see how far we can work our way up. And just the car stops on the right. You got a slow car on the right. All the car news that we can. You got a slow car on the right. Here we go, we've got a gaggle of cars here, three of them. Three into one doesn't go. Two actually come unstuck there, number 13 and number 23. Nice use of the uh, track there to get that nice 180 and rejoin safely. It's good to see. It's good to see the safe rejoins. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Go right. You got a slow car on the right. Two gone. It's just impressive how many incidents there is. Down the chicane, looks like they're coming in a little bit hot. We have a couple cars coming in hot there, but 21, the hottest of them all in the sand pit, he goes. Luckily, 
I racing sand trap doesn't catch here, so that would be safe to go. I know it's a pretty gnarly combo, but that's getting up there in the most first two lap incidents I've seen for a while. Got a slow car on the right. Car stops on the left. That exit there. Car right. Oh no. Clear on the right. Downhill section strikes again for the number 20. Very almost identical to the first driver lap one that had an incident. Go away luckily there. No damage to the wing or anything. Although he slammed it in reserve. <laughs> Reverse and just to make sure there is in fact a dent there, uh, it just pokes into the wall. We'll sneak up with this guy. That's behind. <laughs> it's gonna be a really good uh, demolition derby recap. Too wide into this blind section, it doesn't normally go. We've got number 17 and number 22. Catch you later, 17. This car, this guy started fifth and dropped down to like, what are we, 14th or something now? Car on your left. Right, come across Clear. Please. That was my bad. I just looked up at the incident thing to see if it actually counted and literally just got to look at where the track was. As you can see, this bit here, Road Lando, is like pretty hard to nail. I can't say I've ever nailed it many times in my whole life. But it is a fun section. Okay, so we're up to 15 so far. Small group in front of us. Pretty lively race at the moment. Oh, big pass is on in front of us. Turned him. Go right. Left side. Absolutely killed him and Still left there, him for dead. Clear on the left. Number four is back again. Dive bomb from 20. Come unstuck and shunts him off. Just to make sure. Drama all around. This is Porsche 992. If you haven't tried it, I think it's worth worthwhile. Ooh. See, even with like, I mean, tires pretty warm so far. Just how lively this car is. One of the most fun in the whole game. New fast flat for you. Right side. Still there, hold your line. You really sent it there. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Sketchy part. Have it, boys. Clear Go for it. Right. Hopefully, we'll get him back in the chicane. I know driving very passively, but I'm kind of wanting, wanting to do that. Well, I mean, everyone likes to really race hard if they want, but I don't think it's really worth it. In the current setting, we've already seen how many incidents there are. That was, that was rough. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll sort itself out soon ahead. Very racy, these guys. That black car's turn one, only one lap ago. How is this chicane going to go down here? We're watching the uh, Royal Rumble unfold in front of us. The car in C1, just set the fastest lap, 20.0. We'll zero, come in and try and six. clean the scraps up. Is it one of the best combos that you can get on Irising? Road Atlanta. 
Porsche 992? I think it is. Tell me if you reckon there's better in the comments. This would have to be up there though. I mean, you might only like uh, Formula cars and, and therefore disagree with me completely, but for anyone that does like the sports cars, the tin tops, I think you'll have some agreement. This is a good combo. 1.2 away. We might be just out of the draft, unfortunately, for that, and they got a really good exit. A couple cars ahead, though. See if we can get into that little uh, the leader is running slipstream. Oh, here's a big dive three. one. The car in P2, just set the fastest lap, 19.92. Slight lock up. Working out well for us. Look how much they're slowing each other up. These two definitely here. racing pretty, pretty hard here. For P, ooh. for P, what is it, 13? Oh God, let's try and catch up a little bit, eh? Get into the slipstream of a head, and I gotta not pick that cone up. They're gonna turn each other. I'm placing the bets now. Someone ahead is getting turned. He's gone. Go right. Turn himself. I thought it was gonna be them crashing into each other, but. Guys, just pushing pretty hard. Trying to get number 20 ahead of us here. Oh, it's on again ahead. Like I, like I said, with this Atlanta track, it's just really catered. It probably by accident when the track designers made it, whoever that would have been. That rear end is so loose. Getting off tracks out right and centre. Stop that from happening, please. Yeah, but this this race track. This caters for such fun racing. A lot of carnage though comes with that. As you've seen. Off on the right. Oh, big old off. There's two of them. The Some go bumpers. Right. Got ten left to go. Too wide. Sketch, sketch, sketch. And they're go they're both dead. That's game over. This is where we saw the bumpers. We come we did come past this one. That's a big one. Straight into the front. You can't drive that anymore. And hit the side just for good luck. It's just so alive, like you can't just relax much of the time in this car. It does make it fun. Kind of in no man's land at the moment. Hopefully these guys start fighting ahead, there is a group of three. We can kind of... Car one, he's up the front. He's had a bit of a mishap there. Car in front of us, number 20. That's probably the smoothest I've done that section all race. We're getting a bit of a groove. It felt nice. Maybe not that quick, but... 
It's good to have confidence in flowing sections like that. Or some type of confidence, anyway. Another mishap from 15 in front. The race is on now. And we've got a little bit of draft. Oh, no, has he got damage? Left side. Oh, this is a bad spot. Clear on the left. <laughs> Such a sketchy corner without a car alongside you. I'm glad he's kind of like just filtering in. I'm interested to see what you guys say or what anyone thinks the best combos are in our racing. So there would definitely be a verdict there where the majority of people would say like, yeah, okay, that's a top tier combo. And definitely for me, off the top of my head, this is one that comes here. You might even say Porsche's at Bathurst. Quite a tough combo though. One's a little bit easier. Less guaranteed death. Because no it was. Things are looking good. Thanks, crew chief. Thanks, spotter, whatever his name is. Oh, what's that? Understeered, big down. Big trouble in front. If we didn't have a major trouble ourselves, we might have been able to jump on that one. Smooth on the power. No one's had any mishaps for a while now. I think everyone's kind of gotten into a bit of a groove. But how were those first few laps? Quite impressive. I don't know if it's the type of impressive most are looking for, though. Four. Close. This should help us a little bit get a run, but look at that, we're evenly spaced, just like a few laps ago when we were about one, one point something seconds away now, it's an equal point seven either side. Oh, he's got loose. Big time loose. Clear on the left. I didn't mean to hit the valve bounce there, but that did sound good. Dude. You're in the top ten. Go off track, please. Thank you. Two left to go. 
Oh, two laps. How quickly 19 went, like when you get in the rhythm there. Concentrating on different things. In a nice, comfortable spot here. A little bit far away to make an impression on number 13. You've got about five laps of fuel. Being caught from number five behind though. He's really dialed us in that last lap. Point seven game a little bit. Let's see if we can break the toe. He could follow us quite closely. Last nice lap. Oh. There we go. It's on here. Could have went for the switchback. And instead, we just switch it back around. It wasn't him, though. Good. Maybe the tires get a bit worn. It's not really turning in much, eh? Nine, we might be able to hold him off here. So point nine, we've got the chicane and that last sweeping turn to go. Last quick laps at Road Atlanta. We made a little bit of time on the guy in front, but Unless he has a big old fumble now. It's over. The cars are lively. Great job. The track really selection well. is pretty cool. Um, there's always good silence because of these reasons. And what better way to race the Porsche 992 other than uh, on Road Atlanta. One of the best just racing tracks across the board in iRacing.